Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and in this video we're going to be taking a second look at the white balance module. We have already discussed this module in a previous video, but it has been updated in version 3.4 of Dark Table and we're going to be looking at the new look and functionality of the new module. I'm going to assume that we all have seen the previous video and know the basics of white balance and we'll just go through the um, different sliders and uh, controls of the new and improved module. The first two sliders are for manual control or to set the white balance manually. You've got a slider for temperature and a slider for tint. And if you click on the scene illuminant temp, here you can cycle through three different modes of these sliders under that we have the white balance presets and the settings and you've got four options as shot from image area user modified and camera reference the first one will just set the white balance to the white balance reported by the camera. The second allows us to select a rectangle area to set the white balance. Third one, user modified, takes us back to the temperature and tint that we've selected. As for the last one, which is set the white balance to camera reference point, it attempts to convert the pure white in the camera color space into pure white in sRGB color space. The four modes can be selected in the drop-down menu here as well. In the drop-down menu as well, you have the presets that are available for your camera. You can select them by clicking on them. Next, we have the channel coefficients. And they allow you to set the value for each RGB channel independently. They go from 0 to 8. Going back to the sliders, as we said, there are three modes. The first one is no color, and that's the default mode. The second mode, which we can get to by clicking on Scene Illuminant Temp, is the illuminant color. In this mode, the color on the slider represents the color of the light source. The third mode is called effect emulation. And now the slider colors represent the effect the adjustment would have had on the scene. Okay. What does that mean? It means we're actually going from blue to red so that's what you are adding to the scene as I can see now for instance that the image is too blue I picked it up on purpose because first it's a really old image so the camera wasn't so great at setting up the white balance by itself and as well it's a difficult scene because digital cameras always have problems with snow but I can see that it's too blue, so I can see from the temperature here that I would I should add some red. And as you can see, the white is improving in the snow just by adding it. If you if the image was too red, then you would know that you would have to yeah, add more blue or cool it down. As for the tint, you can see just what I'm adding just by moving the slider. It, it corresponds exactly to the color that's on the slider here. Of the three modes, I think this one is my new preferred mode you can change the default mode in the settings in preferences darkroom white balance slider colors 
I'll show it darkroom white balance slider colors and as you can see you can have any default you'd like the actual controls in this module are the channel coefficients all the adjustments that you make in the top part which is the user friendly interface are translated into channel coefficients for you for example you can see how this is automatically changed to follow the adjustments that I'm making to the temperature the translation between the user interface say and the channel coefficient depends on your camera model it will be different channel coefficients for the same settings for two different camera models so make sure that your camera is supported I noticed as well that some photos that were edited in older versions of Darktable produce some weird results with the new white balance module so you might want to have a quick look at your white balance if you open a photo that you've edited in previous versions so that's it for the new uh, white balance module as you can see it works it's easy there it's not that complicated however you just have to know what you're looking for and how to use it i hope that you've enjoyed this video if you have any questions corrections or remarks or suggestions please leave them in the comments below and i'll see you next time bye bye